Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please buy a cargo ship, name it Modest Pelican and then get it stuck in the Suez Canal, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. And before we get into finishing the heist, I have a dream that I want to turn into a reality. I've always wanted multiple thick men. That could definitely be taken out of context, but the reason is I want to pull a wholesome family-friendly prank on my good mate Stealth Omato. Originally, I was going to sneak into his apartment in real life and put a bucket of water on top of his door so that when he opened it, he got all wet. Once he was confused and soaked, I was planning to slit his throat with a butter knife and take the cash from his wallet, but due to travel restrictions, I have to prank him in GTA Online instead. So I reached out to the faithful members of my Discord server, calling for six or seven brave volunteers to assemble a thick man hit squad. Meet Thick men. Fun fact, you can't change your character's gender, so we have some thick women who did their very best. We all pile into a stealth chopper, as it's important my mate doesn't realise what we're up to until it's too late. The plan is to isolate Marto in an open area, and rappel down from above, taking him by surprise. We do a few training exercises, and then I ask if he's down to game. He most certainly is. I ask him to meet me at the casino car park, so I can show him an easter egg, and innocent stealth Marto doesn't suspect a thing. This plan reminds me of Operation Barbosa from World War II, but with far fewer war crimes, although just as many cheap laughs. As we approach the LZ, it becomes apparent that the Thick Man clone flying us isn't exactly pilot of the year. Strange as he volunteered for the role, but I guess that's the kind of confidence I strive to have one day. We approach Stealth Omato as more and more Thick Men come out of the shadows. In no time at all, we have him completely surrounded. I imagine this is the most intimidated and turned on he's been in his entire life. We start to beat his car as a show of dominance. There was most definitely some friendly fire between the Thick Men, but their sacrifice won't go unnoticed. Then when he thinks it's all over, when he thinks he can take a breath and relax. I turn the boys on Marto. I wonder how much of my YouTube content is Marto and I going to elaborate lengths to kill each other. The great thick man Marto War raged on for quite some time. We love you. Give us kisses now. Okay, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. I legitimately thought the first, the first guy was you, Jeff. <laughs> which, which guy? That's where I just pile out of the helicopter. I was like, what the f***? <laughs> Eventually, we decided to unite forces and take over some public servers. We all pile into an SUV, and things were looking exceptionally cinematic until you guessed it, one shot by a heat-seeking missile from a flying car. Now we have a new enemy, Amy1131. We head to the local gentleman's club, but not to get cuddled by strippers while we cry or, you know, whatever normal people do at gentlemen's clubs. No, we turn the venue into a damn fortress so we can try and out-toxic tactic the big girl. Amy is no match for our over powered alien weaponry and textbook camping strategy. As you can see, we find this highly amusing. Oh my god, Amy just got one of our boys. She comes, she comes. They're coming in, they're coming in. in the <laughs> <laughs> oh, you After a long day, we head back to my yacht and all relax in the hot tub for a while. A well-earned break and I sure hope everyone here gets recognition from their appropriate nation's military as I think some medals should be handed out. It's now time for the heist finale, but first I finally got around to organizing some merch. Wow, I'm sure glad I bought the new Modest Pelican merch. I wonder how this will affect my life going forward. Damn, is that the new Modest Pelican t-shirt? Because if it is, I want to have physical premarital relations with you. That sounds great. As you can see, I also have the new hoodie. Wow, that's impressive. Can I bring my hot European friend with me? Hi, I'm the hot European friend and I love Modest Pelican merch. Wow, my life rocks since I got the new Modest Pelican merch. So yeah, we've got an embroidered hoodie and t-shirt, and of course the much requested water bottle. It's only available for two weeks, so if you are planning on picking something up, make sure you put your order in ASAP. While waiting for the lads to arrive, I chill in a public server. Unfortunately, this man in tiny black shorts and a chic skivvy keeps shanking me. He just beelines it for my position, and I'm forced to keep fighting him over and over again. You've got to admire the lad's dedication to achieving his goals. Then out of nowhere, Stealtho Carbo arrives. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> what is this lobby, dude? We drive over to my facility while waiting for Stealtho Mato to finish watching Hot Tub Streams or whatever sus activity he said he was up to. Imagine watching Hot Tub Streams. I would never. I, I honestly don't think a lot of her viewers realize she's even in a bikini in a hot tub. No, I think he was cooking dinner for his girlfriend because she wasn't feeling well. What a simp. I would never simp. Hi. 
of big man English Dave Coles. He wants us to go and retrieve some skate merchandise. We've been helping Dave out a lot lately and apparently there's a pretty cool reward when you finish all these tasks, so we agree. We arrive tactically and decide the best course of action is to slash everyone up with a machete. I sometimes think in a previous life I was an African warlord. You see, I love slashing people with machetes, I love nature, I love the song Africa by Toto. I'm an Aquarius who according to people's choice means I'm a visionary and see potential aka the long-term investment of child soldiers. The great white pelican lives in Africa. I try to sell clothing and water bottles and they try and sell people via their extensive human trafficking network and I love a sense of unity. The similarities are uncanny. We deliver the skate merch to David and make our way back to the facility. Just one more heist prep and we'll be making millions or more like a few hundred thousand dollars but it's about the journey. The last prep involves a large jet and a whole lot of bombing runs. I'm not the best pilot in GTA Online but fortunately I have my two encouraging friends who believe in me. I know I joke around a lot on this channel but these lads are more than just friends. They motivate me to be the best person I can be. With you flying this is gonna take so long. Well this is so jittery to I like, feel aim. sick. Just, you're just really bad at this. That's it. Can't say uh, uh, right, above us. Me. <laughs> <laughs> We are now ready for the main event. I hop into a helicopter at Sandy Airfield and English Dave calls again. I like him, but at this point it's a little suffocating. He makes Roman Bellic look laid back. He tells me that he has a reward waiting for me at the airport, but I'll grab it after we're done with the heist. I give the lads a generous 35% cut as I'm trying to get more into philanthropy. For example, last week when I was fapping to my best mate's girlfriend's Instagram, I made sure to like a few of the pics. We decide that it would be fun to drive all the matching jugulars we bought last week video as it would be extremely cinematic. This is uh, boys, let me just get him a jugular. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, boys, roll out. I hate you. On the back, Will. Come on. <laughs> roll out. All right. <laughs> Clearly you again. we are earning our cuts here. Fuck your moped. Cost us a lot. $62, bro. What the as we'll be infiltrating an incredibly well-defended underground facility guarded by strong, highly armed clones, we get a special vehicle. God only knows why, but we decided to choose the cool-looking truck with a machine gun rather than the futuristic railgun tank. We actually started paying for this decision before we even fought a single enemy. It's hard to know who the worst driver in the group is, but it's safe to say we're all pretty incompetent. After Carbo rolled the truck, Mato insisted on taking the wheel. I was having a snack. Stop eating, all, stop eating all your snacks, man. I'm just, I'm just snacking. Stop eating all your snacks. Get in, drive, drive, drive. <laughs> Alright, one sec. Just have one more sec. Alright, dude, but if you guys gonna have like stomach cramps, bro. Alright. You mean smoke? No. <laughs> Why did we not take the take? I will never know. <laughs> Look how exposed you two are up there. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, uh, let's go back and get the tank. After dying numerous times trying to get through this alley of hell, we eventually make it to the finish line. We immediately have to fight juggernauts, and again, it would have been incredibly handy to have a futuristic tank to obliterate these guys, but we made our bed. Fortunately, that Amy girl isn't the only thing laser guns can drop quickly. It's now time to make magic happen by sweating it up. We are up against tough competition, but it reminds me of a good story where the underdog came out on top. Back in the day, I was having a gaming session with some viewers and then two really young people joined and started going at each other so hard. Me and all the other people just didn't know what to do. I was trying to mediate these two little kids who were straight flaming each other. They were so aggressive. One of them starts crying and I'm thinking, okay, I've got to separate them. Before I get the chance, the crying kid gets called a pussy. At this point, I'm pretty worried, but then this little malacca bawling his eyes out says through his tears, you are what you eat. It was so beautiful and one of the most heroic clapbacks I've ever witnessed. Now, usually we have Crosby with us, but given he's going through puberty or something, the boys decide it's on me to do the hacking part of the heist. I was far from efficient. I get it done though, but you can see how long it took from all the blood on the walls and floors. Looks like a horror game. With all the clones eliminated, we get to use the orbital cannon, which is fair and balanced. Unbelievably, we are on track to do this first time, but then Carbo tragically takes his own life. This triggers a potential rift through the Sons of Virgins, as Carbo claims he didn't cause the explosion, yet when we restart at the checkpoint, it doesn't look good for him. Put that rock launcher away, Will. That's I, what you did, dude! You had that, that's what happened! Yeah. <laughs> no, I had the... I had the... No, it doesn't uh, spawn you with the last gun you were using. You twat. Mm. <laughs> I start with the rocket launcher every time. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, you're an asshole. All right, let's have a look at these boxes, huh? Don't shoot them. <gasps> you're right! Oh. It turns out Carbo was telling the truth. I knew he was, but I just love a good old-fashioned ruse. We track down Big Boss Avon, but can't shoot him as the heat from his jetpack is too severe. I guess getting shot a thousand times is fine, but potentially seared eyelashes is where we draw the line. Plus, it sets up a cinematic finish, which you know I'm obsessed with at the moment. Target eliminated. Now it's time to get our bag and also see what English Dave's reward is. We arrive at the observatory. Lester says way too many lines, and then we get paid $1.2 million for our efforts. I only get $360. 60,000 though, as I took a smaller cut because I'm selfless, but now I've ruined that selflessness by saying that I'm selfless. I then spawn back into the server much faster than the boys, so I lay a trap and detonate it as they come in. The pranks never stop. And Dave's reward for all the help is a hippie VW Beetle, which I can't be mad about. It's pretty unique and has a surprisingly large amount of customization options. And thanks for watching, you absolute legends. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.